Hello everyone, this is Yanis Makula. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is day two of the unboxing or opening of the Spellbinders Crafty Advent Calendar. If you missed day one, I have a video showing the die set that was in the day one and also the project. You can take a look at that card on my YouTube channel or on my blog. So let's go ahead and open day two. Do you guys see where the day two window is? I cannot. Where is it? Finally found it right below window number one. It's a pretty large window. I think this might be a set of stencils. So let's go ahead and take a look. Open this. And what do we have here? No, this looks like it's going to be a stamp set. So it's beautiful, beautiful floral cluster and a little hello. Let's go ahead and get started and make a card. I decided to make a simple card. I wanted to stamp this image twice to create sort of like a wreath or an elongated, um, I don't know, swag. I stamped this, like I said, twice using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I used my Mini Misty stamping tool and uh, stamped this image onto Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. I'm next coloring this using Copic markers and colored pencils. Right now, I was just showing you the colors of the colored pencils that I use to add details. Those are by Fiber Castell, and I think I used 168. This is the lighter green and 158. This is the darker green. But let me explain everything from the beginning. So I used YG03, YG17 and YG67 to color the leaves green using my Copic markers. And now I'm using the pencils to add detail. I want the leaves to look like as if there's a a fold in the leaf and I'm adding a shadow to that fold using the pencils. The reason I'm using pencils for this and not markers is because these images are rather small and with the pencils I can sharpen them to a very fine point and I can add very tiny details, very small details to my images. I went for a pink and red color combination, although I didn't do the bright pink, I used more of a muted pink color and I loved the result. It was simple, it was easy to color. The images are small, but that meant I didn't need to spend a ton of time on each image. So here I used the RV34, RV11 and RV10 to color the flowers pink. Next, I have R24, R22, and R20 to color the flowers red. That's it. Those are all the markers that I use for the flowers, aside for the Y, I believe 19, which was used to add yellow detail to the flower center and a little bit of yellow to the petals. Okay, next I pulled out my Essential Arches die set. Here I have my Platinum 6 die cutting and embossing machine, and I'm going to use one of the Arches die to die cut this into an arch shape. I will say right away that I did not position the arch die correctly, or I did not align it correctly. I did not have it centered over my image. And you can see that I have the image uh, a little bit off to the left. I didn't like that. I needed to fix that. So I decided to use a smaller arch die and cut this image again, but I needed to do partial die cutting because one of the leaves was kind of sticking out. You can see that I have that um, sticking from under my top cutting plate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt and do partial die cutting, then use scissors and just fussy cut that leaf out so that I'm not chopping anything off. I do want to have the full image here. So here I have the arch cut out. I just need to use my scissors. These are the Spellbinders detail scissors and I'm going to do a little bit of fussy cutting. I'm sorry, this is not in focus, but it's going to focus in a minute. And you can see how beautifully this looks. Our arch shape is ready. Next, I thought about how I can decorate this arch shape and I used two smaller arch shape dies to create a frame. I taped them together using Bestera craft tape. And I used, first I used the Spellbinders mirror gold cardstock to die cut a mirror gold frame for this panel. I liked the shape, I liked the frame, but I didn't quite like the mirror gold as that was quite too shiny for my taste. So I later cut another panel using the Spellbinders rose gold assorted cardstock and I used the pearl metallic cardstock from that pack. 
I also use the same cardstock to dry emboss the background for my card. And here I used a 2D embossing folder from Spellbinders. This is an older folder, still one of my favorite folder designs. It's the loops embossing folder. So I embossed an A2 panel. This is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches using the loops embossing folder on that pearl metallic rose gold cardstock. I also die cut the arch shape from that same cardstock. I did die cut two more arch shapes from regular white cardstock to make the arch shape sturdier and dimensional. And now you can see me adding thin foam adhesive strips. These are by Simon Says Stamp. Spellbinders also has foam adhesive strips, but they're not quite as thin. They're a little bit wider, so they won't work here unless you cut them using scissors. I didn't want to do that. I have these by Simon and they work perfectly fine. So I'm just adding strips behind my die cut shape and being careful, trying to make sure that I don't have any adhesive showing from the outside of my frame. I'm also removing the backer and sort of curving the adhesive as I'm adding it to the top shape where there is a curve. With that done, I'm going to add this over my colored panel. And this is going to frame everything nicely. I love to do this. I love to add frames like this. I don't always do this, or I should say I rarely do this, but it really adds a nice, beautiful touch to an image. Next, I'm using foam adhesive squares. These are the regular thickness foam adhesive squares and adding them from the back of my panel. I'm going to add the panel on top of my embossed background. The embossed background is going to go onto an A2 side folding card base. And this is going to be a pretty simple card. Now to create a sentiment for this card, there is a sentiment in this stamp set. It says, hello, but I wanted to do something different. I wanted to add foiling. You know me, I love to foil all the things. I used the sentiments from the Envelope of Wonder collection. I have not used these before. I did use the stamped sentiment, the stamp set to stamp a sentiment for the previous card, for the day one card. But here I wanted to do a foiled sentiment. I also wanted to foil the sentiment in a similar color of foil. So I looked through my stash and I have found the beautiful pink foil from the Glimmer Hot Foil Variety Satin Pastels pack. It's very beautiful. It's very soft and it gave me pretty much the same color sentiment as the frame and as the background. I foiled Sending Love and Hugs. I cut that out using a coordinating die. I popped that using foam adhesive and added that in the center of my image. And to finish this card, I embellished it using Fashion Blush Self-Adhesive Embellishments from Spellbinders. So this is a look at the card created using day two of the Spellbinders Advent Calendar. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out day one if you missed it. And I'm really hoping to be back tomorrow with day three. Love you guys. See you again next time.